finally, the radar is quiet this evening. We'll talk about the clouds breaking and summer resuming. You know, I wasn't getting better. Sorry. Um, and I, I didn't understand it at all. Providing hope for COVID long haulers, a look at the efforts to treat the mysterious symptoms. Plus. I had no idea what happened. We just, you know, we knew the whales were around, but it was just crazy. A close encounter for a fisherman, what he's saying after a whale struck the side of his boat. We begin at 430 with your first alert weather as we take a live look at Boston. And yes, that low cloud deck is still there, a little bit gloomy for all of us. We're also keeping an eye on more rain for tomorrow. Thanks for joining us. I'm JC Monahan. The good news, though, we'll soon be getting a break from all of this gloomy weather, a little bit of sun, perhaps. Let's get to meteorologist Pete Bouchard <laughs> with the latest. The pressure is on Pete. I'm just giggling about that headline. I mean, that's a real headline and a head turner, right? Uh, cloudy day, folks. We had nothing but overcast. We did have a couple of showers and here we sit in the overcast in Boston. Our temperature really hasn't moved very far from this value. It's 68 degrees with the east northeast wind. That breeze is not raw like it is in March and April, but still, I mean, if you have outdoor plans or try to make a vacation of this week, I apologize, first of all, but uh, it will get better. 68 in Lawrence, 69 in Norwood, 66 in Marshfield. Not like I had anything to do with it, but still feel a little responsibility to try and find some sun for you and we're doing that tomorrow afternoon. It takes a while. I mean, coming out of a wet pattern like this, it's not like you snap your fingers and twinkle your nose and you get sunshine. It takes a little while to burn that off and what sun we do get could fuel a thunderstorm between about three and five o'clock, predominantly after five though. It's towards the evening hours that it gets into the greater Boston area. We'll talk more about that in the forecast and how we may hit 90 degrees and at least salvage one day this week of summery weather. JC. All right, see you, Pete, in just a few. There are growing calls for a change in leadership in the state Republican Party. Some big-name donors are even pledging to cut off funding unless there's new leadership. NBC10 political reporter Allison King has a closer look at what this means for the future of the mass GOP.